Good evening, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. Come, join me again tonight in reading God's love letter. <laughs> the word of God, the Bible, yes. Our spirit being needs to be fed by God's word because it says here that Jesus is saying that it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless the Lord and we glorify your Father. Abba, as we partake the bread and the cup, we remember you. We do this in remembrance of you, Father, of what you did on the cross for us. You have said, uh, you have said, Lord, that he took the bread, Jesus took the bread, and he had given thanks, and he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for you and me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper as I took the cup after supper and and saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes hallelujah yes father I proclaim your death and you are alive forevermore, Father God, Jesus. Hallelujah. The same spirit that resurrected Jesus from the dead is also the spirit that is within us right now, the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your broken body. Yes, Lord. He was wounded for our transgressions and he was bruised for our iniquities that Chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Thank you, Father, for this bread, Lord, that your body has been being beaten, Lord, on the cross, and by your stripes, sa pamamagitan ng mga pasa sa yung katawan sa cross, by your stripes, Father, we are healed. Lord, especially for those who are having COVID right now. Father God, Jesus, have mercy on them. Be with them. Heal them, Father God, Jesus. By your stripes, they are healed right now, Father. For those who are sick, oh God, not just from COVID. There's so many sickness and disease that is going on around by the work of the evil ones. But Father God, Jesus, thank you that we are overcomer for those who are in pain and suffering because of what you did on the cross. Oh, hallelujah. Father, thank you. By your stripes, we are healed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father, that Jesus, you are the bread of life. Amen. Father God, Lord, thank you for this cup of the new covenant. For the forgiveness of my sins, O oh Father, and for my protection as well. Not just for me, but for those of us, your children, who is partaking, and uh, for we are your children, Father. And so we are protected, covered with your precious blood, and this new covenant, the forgiveness of our sins, Father, thank you. Oh, we bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying on the cross for our sins. We open our heart to receive you as our personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness of our sins and giving us eternal life. Make us the kind of person you want us to be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for loving us so much. Because for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you, Father. Amen and amen. We bless you, Lord. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus, thank you, Lord, for your love. <laughs> oh, you love us so deeply, Lord. We are so loved by you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. 
Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. More power. Yes, Lord, more love, more power. Power of the Holy Spirit in us, Lord. Your love that is everlasting. Hallelujah. More love, more power. More of you in my life. More love, more power. More of you in my life. And I will worship you with all of my heart and i will worship you with all of my mind and i will worship you with all of my strength for you are my lord you are my lord more power more love more of you in my life hallelujah more love more power more of you in my life and i will seek your face with all of my heart and i will seek your face with all of my mind and i will seek your face with all of my strengths for you are my lord you are my lord hallelujah father yes we seek you lord your face oh god hallelujah with all of our hearts oh god yes we worship you lord we adore you oh father more love and more power that comes from your father for we are nothing without you lord without your power lord we can do anything but with you lord we can do all things through christ who give us strength hallelujah thank you father we bless you lord and we glorify your father thank you lord abba father god as we continue to read your word help us to understand precious holy spirit teach us as we read lord give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of your father as we continue to read your word in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah come let's now read psalm 108 yesterday we read 107 and tonight may we be able to read 108 up to up to 109 see how it goes but thank you father god for tonight again hallelujah oh yes yes so good psalm 108 um the theme is victory in god's strength amen with god's help we can do more than we think yes amen we can do all things <laughs> so christ who gives us the strength and the author is david verse one my heart my heart is steadfast O god i will sing and make music with all my soul awake harp and lyre i will awaken the dawn i will praise you o lord among the nations father thank you i will sing of you among the peoples for great is your love higher than the heavens your faithfulness reaches to the skies be exalted o god above the heavens and let your glory be over all the earth yes thank you father verse 6 save us and help us with your light with your right hand and those who love may be delivered verse 7 god has spoken from his sanctuary in triumph i will parcel our shechim and measure off the valley of Zokoth. gilead is mine and manazi is mine ephraim is my helmet judah my scepter verse 9 moab is my wash basin upon edom a toss of my sandal over felicia i shout in triumph yes <laughs> hallelujah you will shout there in felicia you will shout in triumph verse 10 
Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Verse 11. It is not you, O God, you who have rejected us and, not, and no longer go out with our armies. Verse 12. Give us aid against the enemy, for the help of man is worthless indeed. The help of man is worthless, but the help of God, the help of God is powerful and victory. With God, we will gain the victory. Yes, I already see that before I can even read this. <laughs> and he will trample down our enemies. Yes, amen. Thank you, Father. Oh, we are victorious in Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. We bless the Lord and we glorify your Father. Come, let's continue on reading verse uh, Psalm 109. And it says here, The theme is uh, righteous indignation against liars and slanderers. We can tell God our true feelings and desires. Author is David. Verse 1. O oh God, whom I praise, do not remain silent. For wicked and deceitful men have opened their mouths against me. They have spoken against me with lying tongues. With words of hatred they surround me. They attack me without cause. In return for my friendship they, call, they accuse me. But I am a man of prayer. But I am a man of prayer. They repay me evil for good. And hatred for my friendship. Appoint an evil man to oppose him. Let an accuser stand, stand at his right hand. Verse 7. When he is tired, let him be found guilty. And may his prayers condemn him. Verse 8. May his days be few. May another take his place of leadership. Verse 9. May his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. Verse 10. May his children be wandering beggars. May they be driven from the ruined homes. Verse 11. May a creditor seize all the he has. May strangers plunder the fruits of his labor. Verse 12. May no one extend kindness of him to him. Or take pity of his fatherless children. May his descendants be cut off. May um, their names blotted out from the next generation. May the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord. May the sin of his mother never be blotted out. May their sins always remain before the Lord. That he may cut off the memory of them from the earth. Verse 16. For he never thought of doing a kindness, but haunted to death the poor, and the needy, and the brokenhearted. He loved to pronounce a curse. May it come on him. He found no pleasure in blessing. May it be far from him. For he wore cursing as his garment. It entered into his body like water, into his bones like oil. May it be like a clock wrapped about him, like a belt tied forever round him. May this be the Lord's payment to my accusers, to those who speak evil of me. But, O oh Lord, but you, sovereign Lord, deal with me, for your name's sake, for out of the goodness of your love, deliver me, for I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I fade away like an evening shadow, I am shaken off like a locust, my knees give away from fasting, my body is thin and gout, I am an object of scorn to my accusers. When they see me, they shake off their heads. Verse 26. Help me, O Lord my God, 
save me in accordance with your love. Verse 27 Let them know that it is your hand that you, O Lord, have done it. They may curse, but you will bless. They may attack, they will be put to shame. But your servant will rejoice. Verse 29. My accusers will be clothed with this disgrace and wrapped in shame as in a cloak. Verse 30. With my mouth I will greatly extol the Lord. In the great throng I will praise him. For he stands at the right hand of the needy one. To save his life from those who condemn him. Thank you, Father. Oh, we bless you, Lord. Yes, indeed. You bless, Lord Jesus, our God, for those who are poor and needy. Thank you, Father God, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need your goodness and your love to deliver us from anything that is not of you, Father. Because in this world... There is so many things that really not of you, Lord. But Father, thank you for covering us with your precious blood and giving us strength to carry on. Father, thank you. Oh, we bless you, Lord. Come, let's read what it is. Let's understand what it is about here. It's 108 verse 1. The conclusions from two previous psalms have been together to make this psalm. The first five verses are quoted from Psalm 57, verses 7 to 11, and the next eight verses are from Psalm 60, verse 5 to 12. Moab, Edom, and Philistia were Israel's enemies to the east, south, and west, respectively. They despised the Israelites and Israel's God. Verse uh, 108, verse 13. Do our prayers end with requests for help to make it through stressful situations? David prayed not merely for rescue but for victory. Amen. He prayed for victory. Give us aid against the enemy, for the help of man is worthless. With God, we will gain the victory, and he will trample down our enemies. And so David prayed not merely for rescue, but for victory. With God's help, we can claim more than mere survival we can claim victory yes father thank you look for ways god can use your distress as an opportunity to show his mighty power david endure many false accusations is in first samuel and so on and so forth here are the verses and chapters of the books that we can find he, he was being accused. And uh, also, David was angry at being attacked by evil people who slandered him and lied. Yet David remained a friend and a man of prayer. While we must hate evil and work to overcome it, we must love everyone. Yes, we must love everyone, including those who do evil because God loves them. We are called to hate the sin. Yes, we have we are called to hit the we are called to hate or hit <laughs> hit the sin. We are called to hate the sin but love the person. Only through God's strength we will be able to follow David's example. Hallelujah. David is a man after God's own heart. A man of prayer. A man who 
quickly ask God's forgiveness. He's not perfect, but you always ask God's forgiveness. He's a man of prayer. Oh, thank you, Father God, Lord, that we may learn from David, a man after God's own heart. And also, Father God, Jesus, through our reading, yes, we will always pray for a victorious life. For Hallelujah. Jesus, because our help comes from God, not from man. Because man's help is worth, worthless. <laughs> Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Lord, that you are with us. Thank you, Lord, for your word today. I do believe that as we go through your word today, Lord, tonight, we will be able, Lord, to, to learn from it, from David. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless the Lord and we glorify you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Mga Mahal, for reading God's love letter with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Good night and may the Lord God bless you. May you have a good night's sleep and uh, the Lord give you uh, peace of mind and sweet dreams. <laughs> and always remember that Jesus loves you. Bye. Until tomorrow again. Good night, and for those in other places like USA, good morning, <laughs> and Canada, my sister there and my friends also. Bye!